Hi, welcome to Click Geek. So in this session, we'll see an introduction to set analysis. So set analysis is the important concept in Click View, which will be very much useful in visualizing the data which is available in the data model. So in the previous sessions, we have seen about data model and how to implement it and uh, and various concepts of the data model and best practices too. So here, ClickView works on the concept of associativity. So it uses AQL as a query language. So it is called uh, associative query language. And here, the set analysis, the name itself defining, it will be setting the analysis. So by default, whatsoever the selections you are making, they'll be directly impacting the visualizations that are available in that layout or else in that particular state so state here means on the top of data model click you will create a selection space which will be responsible for capturing the user selections so if user is selecting any value from any field those selections will be impacting on the respective visualizations of that particular application or else a sheet. So here, suppose assume I have two countries in a single field and I don't I want to compare them in two different charts. If I select country one and that will be impacting first chart. And if I create another set of objects, one is one list box, another one is one bar chart for another uh, country that is for country 2 and the chart if I select country 1 in list box 1 and the list box 2 will also will ha have the country 1 only so to avoid this scenario the click view has introduced the alternative states concept it means by default the click view will providing the one selection space which is also called as inherited selection space and you we have the developers has leverage to create more than one selection space using the alternative states concept. So alternative states are nothing but the selection spaces that additionally we are creating on top of the existing selection space. So here whatever the chart we are creating those works regards to our selections. If you want to make your charts behave disregards to the current selections or else if you want to set analysis or else control the behavior of the expressions disregards of the current selections this set analysis is very much helpful and the set analysis only works on in click view objects only most of the chart ob i mean all the chart objects will support set analysis and this will only work in the front end. Set analysis won't work in the back end scripting part. So, this is what the set analysis introduction is. So, basically, set analysis has four components those are identifiers, modifiers, operators, and functions. So, we will see each and every component with examples in detail in the upcoming session. So that's all for the session. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and share.